What's up, YouTube? What's going on? This is D Chan with SSDK Music. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, do a quick little uh, video, uh, kind of describing my uh, mixing process that I have, or better yet, is uh, I've used the new Isotope Neutron Three in this in one of my mixes. I'm kind of getting a little bit used to using it, uh, so I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video on it now it's not gonna be super detailed but just kind of outline kind of how I got to uh, a mix on one of the one of my songs that I got out on pond 5 I'll put the link in the description on that song as you can see in the title it's come over it's the one of the mini mixes I did but I actually kind of like the one I did with the uh, isotope software so uh, to get into this real quick uh, we're looking at it. Everything's color coded, coded already. Yeah, my drums in red. Have a bass yellow, and instruments all in blue. Now, uh, in my Ableton setup, I got a couple of different things that I do. It might be a little bit different than what you've seen on the interwebs, but I have my buses, a drum bus, bass bus, and I have like a little side chain for my uh, bass, so it can uh, duck out of the way of that kick drum as well as an instrument bus and a lead bus so the music that i'm doing is uh stock music uh it's going out for licensing and commercials tv videos and stuff like that so it's a little bit different and at the end of this video i kind of talk about the importance of having different alts with your mixes so nevertheless we're going to keep moving with this okay so per all the information that you get at isotope Every channel is going to have a relay, and most of my channels have a Neutron 3 on it. So the relay is there so it can control how the mix is going to go. So I'm not going to bore you just me clicking on the different things, but to know, know that there's going to be a relay on every channel in your track. And my track looks like it's about 15 channels. All right, so and on my master channel, I'm going to have the Neutron uh, Visual Mixer which has the mix mix assistant which is going to get us a mix and I have uh, several different mixes but right now as you can see everything's zeroed out and that's another thing you gotta also remember whenever you're doing mixes with the uh, isotope software make sure that all your faders are zeroed out everything's at zero the relay is just gonna operate as your mixer and then you'll be able to do it here you know by looking at it so at a snapshot, this is what it looks like zeroed out. There's all the channels with the uh, actual neutrons and the uh, relays on them. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video right now, and then when you come back, I'll have all the relays on, and then we'll start doing a uh, as we were doing a mix with the isotope, isotope uh, software. All right, be right back. Okay, we're back. I have all the uh, relays turned on, all the neutron threes turn on at each track. All right, so next thing you want to do is go ahead and hit this mix assistant. Now it's going to give you this little splash screen on what to do and that's basically just saying everything that we've done is putting a relay on each uh, channel. So we're going to click that do not show again because we're done with that. Now here's here's the thing. Uh, by default, uh, the visual mixer has chosen all the relays which is good. And that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with the relays. But uh, I've, I've learned through like some of the newer mixes that I've done that you can actually do it with the Neutron plugin on it. Or if you have like one of the different plugins like the um, the EQ or the Gates, that, that'll show up too as well here. But right now we want to make sure it, we have everything click, which is the green, it's the relay. And then we're going to choose a focus, which is probably going to be my lead uh that guy is here and then you have to have a focus so then after we do that we go ahead and hit the begin listening and we'll go ahead and play the track from the top so let me turn it down because it's probably killing I won't play the whole entire 
entire song. So I'll come back after the song's over. All right, so we're done listening to the song. We're gonna go ahead and click the results. Now, once again, this right here is like a sub submix right here. And uh, we also wanna go here and make sure that everything that we had play matches up, like bass is bass, bells is musical. Looks like everything is good, kick, lead. Percussion, percussion. So you want to make sure all these different things match up. Like we here's our focus right there. So everything looks like it's matching up. So it gave us a a, a, a certain mix. You know, we can uh, we can uh, go ahead and play it now. Now I can turn the volume back up because it's probably going to have a better level uh, than what it had initially with all the things at zero. See? Much, much quieter, and I'm at, I'm at zero. Yeah, so it's at a good level. Everything sounds okay, so go ahead and accept. Now, right here, the, the cool thing about Isotope, and, and this is not at all the final mix right here. This is just a starting. Now, and you hear that a lot of times whenever you see in most of the tutorials that this is just a starting or a springboard for your mix. Uh, as you can see the levels coming into the master channels at negative eight and that's what all the tracks playing before when we were doing it it was in the red so it was like I want to say it was like over positive uh, 4 dB so it was super hot. So now the visual mixer has allowed us to go ahead and uh, get it at a good level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to a snapshot of a mix that I, after I got my levels, where I got into to play and did the tweaks and stuff that I felt sounded good. So that's the cool thing about these snapshots. All right, so now you can see now I'm using more of the stereo field with the tracks and I have another snapshot I think this is the one that I went with uh, after I printed everything up so I'll play a little bit of this but like I said I'm gonna play the whole song uh, so you can kind of get a uh, feel of what you know it sounds like after you yourself get to go through your different tracks and stuff Much more balanced now. You use more stereo feel uh, to get those different instruments in a certain spot in certain places. So that was that. That was basically all I really wanted to get show you guys is like how with this particular song I was able to get a nice mix with the uh, Isotope software. And it's becoming my uh, go-to software right now for like whenever I do my mixes and uh, for all the little personal projects and things that I have going on with, with many of the local artists out here in Stockton, California. You know, I'm able to get a nice mix for them. Uh, shout outs to uh, Skip Anderson at True Flavor Productions. Yeah, uh, he uh, encouraged me to uh, start doing more videos. What I want to do now is jump over to... Uh, this master track that I did, this particular song, but I also have different alt mixes. And I know he was uh, doing a, he's doing a breakdown uh, at True Flavor, they're doing a breakdown or going through like uh, music licensing and uh, having different alt mixes. So I just wanna give a little quick preview of mine. And once again, I'll put the description for uh, this, in the uh, description, the links to this song at Pond5. So if you're interested, uh, there's a great place. Pond5 has plenty of great people out there. So, I mean, I just got into the game, I want to say, in July. And I made my first sale or placement in middle of August on Pond5. So, I'm looking to do some more and get some more, more things and get some more videos up of my music, me doing different things. All right, hold on one second. I'll jump over to those alt mixes real quick. All right, welcome back. Uh, this part is not going to be too long, 
But just to reiterate, uh, whenever you're doing music for licensing, uh, anything for commercials and TV, a lot of times the average TV commercial is about 30 seconds. Uh, I know on radio you have 15 second spots and things like that. So it's very important that when you have your songs and you're doing it for uh, uh, stock music or just um, licensing and TV or commercials or anything like that, you want to have several different mixes of your song. So as we see here, I have the final mix of the Come Over song, but then also I have a 60 second mix, a 30 second, a 15 second, and I have a sting as well. So it gives, you know, makes it more marketable. So at least, at least that's the bare minimum that I've been hearing. You got to have that. Those are the things that you need to have. Uh, alt mixes of your main song. Now I've gone, heard other people talking about drum and bass mixes and just uh, chords only and different things like that. And I think that's dealing when you actually get into those exclusive libraries, you get more detailed and more. Uh, they, they're real specific about what they want. Okay, so I'll, I'll just play a snippet. Just the intro. I think it's it's pretty much the same. But as you can see, it fits in that window. And the cool thing about Ableton, you can see your numbers at the bottom of how long they need to be. And I'm running it through here. I'm using Ozone on this, my master. So, but yeah, I'll just... Uh, Here's the original. You guys have already heard that. Here's the second. Like I said, they all start the same, so I don't, I don't think it's too. I didn't. Uh, I didn't get too eclectic on the intros. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, I mean, the song. This song was was pretty easy in the sense that the intro pretty much wrote itself, and I was able to use it for all the for the different ones. But let me jump down to the sting. Maybe that's a little bit different. Let me jump down to the sting real quick. <laughs> so that's like a little bump for like when shows go in and out and stuff like that. And 15 seconds right here. So, yeah. All right. I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking me out. Uh, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, if you found it. Uh, some good information here, you know, I'm going to try and keep this up and uh, hopefully I see you guys soon. All right. Have a good day.